Praise God. Welcome to church. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to thank God for this privilege. When a man gives you his platform, don't take it for granted. Thank you, sir, for this platform. Father Lord, I say thank you. Sweet Holy Spirit will bless you. We thank you. We thank you. I also want to use this medium to thank the committee for Thanksgiving for this privilege. God bless you, committee. Thank you for this platform. God bless you. Thank you, sweet Holy Spirit. You are too faithful to fail me. You're too faithful to disappoint me. You've proven yourself in my life and I've come to realize you're too faithful to fail me. You be God, you know. to this service bodies will be taken off in the name of Jesus hallelujah like we all know on the 3rd of October is our first children thanksgiving can you put your hands together for Jesus I want to talk about Thanksgiving. You can title this short exhortation The Passport Called Thanksgiving. The Passport Called Thanksgiving. What is a passport? We all know how important a passport is before an entry into any place. Passport is a thing that ensures admission to. Passport is a thing that ensures admission into or an achievement of something. Now I said the passport called Thanksgiving. Let's see the book of Psalm 100 verse 4. Psalm 100 verse 4. The passports called Thanksgiving. Psalm 100 verse 4. He says, enter into his gates with Thanksgiving. Enter into his gates with Thanksgiving. That is the passports. That's the passports booklets you need to enter into the presence of God. That is the passport. That's the passport you need to assess the divine nature of God. The passport called Thanksgiving, and the Bible says in Psalm 100, it says, "Enter into His gates." There are gates in the realm of the spirits, and there are a lot of Christians that are outside the gates. And for you to enter into these gates. You must have this passport in your hands called Thanksgiving. You must have this passport in your hand called Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is a passport that gives you access to enjoying the more of God. 
is a passport that gives you access to enjoying the more of God. And now that the Bible says enter, when you have entered into his gate, what do you do? He says enter. Now that you have entered into his gate, what are you supposed to do? Let's see Psalm 96. Psalm 96 from verse 1. Remember I said the passport called thanksgiving. Now if you have those passports and you enter, look at what you're supposed to do. Because when you enter, you don't just stand and be looking at the king of kings. He says in verse 1, Oh, sing to the Lord a new song. Seek to the Lord all the earth. Seek to the Lord, bless his name from verse 1 to 11. Proclaim the good news of his salvation from day to day. Not, from, not only in October, not only in November, not only in December do we gather to thank God. Thanksgiving is supposed to be a lifestyle. It's meant to be your addition. He says, I read further. He said, declare his glory among the nations. I'm in three now. His wonders among all peoples. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. This is what you do when you have entered. You start adoring him. You start praising him. Follow me. For the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods. Are there gods? Yes. But this God is a God that when he steps out, every other God trembles and disappears. Listen. He said, for all the gods of the people are idols. But the Lord made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. This is what you do when you have entered. He says, give to the Lord all families of the people. He said, give to the Lord. What do we give to him? You will understand. How do we give it? You will understand in the course of this exhortation. Listen to me, child of God. Thanksgiving is simply saying thank you, God. No big grammar. Thanksgiving is simply saying, God, thank you. For what? For the things you have done. For the words you promised me you will do. For the words you have not even done. But I know if you gave me life, then I know you will do it. Thanksgiving is simply say, Lord, I am appreciative of all the things you have done. Many of you, don't you imagine, how come did we get to September? September is already over. Many of you, when January started, you like, am I sure that I'm going to scale through this year? But look at you still standing. Don't you think that the force that kept you alive till this time deserves your word don't you think that he deserves your praise you need this passport called thanksgiving if you must enjoy from God child of God thanksgiving gives you access to more it is time we begin to teach our children how to say thank you and how do you start? Start by telling them how to say thank you to you as their parents. Because if it is easy for thank you to come out of their mouth, then it is easy for them to rababa, for them to appreciate God and say, Father, thank you. That's what thanksgiving is. Simply say, Lord, thank you. And that is why these children, thanksgiving is coming up. For them to be able to express their gratitude to God. When you get addicted to thanksgiving, destiny opens up to you. Hmm? That's the truth. 
Good. Teach your children the blood of Jesus Christ. Locate them and destroy them. Very good. We are living in the world of wickedness. They must understand the warfare dimension of this kingdom. But they should also understand this powerful weapon called thank you. When you thank a man for five naira, you thank him today. That's why I like the Yorubas. You thank him today. They will call you a share journal. Ah, ah, you'll be wondering, what did you give to this person that this person is thanking you again and again? Do you know what that is doing into your subconsciousness, into your spirit? It is telling you, this person deserves to be given more. There are people you will even give something you have not even given to another person. He may pour no has said thank you, Naraha. They feel it's their rights. If you can't appreciate man that is close to you that you see, Abba, God, you ain't dead Hey, we go preach tire before you appreciate that. Because it's not your lifestyle. And in this kingdom, Thanksgiving is supposed to be a lifestyle, an addition. You see the way they sniff that thing, they sniff, and it enters into their blood. That if they, can't, if they can't have it, it's like they are going crazy. That's the way Thanksgiving is supposed to be. To you, to your children. Teach them that before anything, they should learn to thank God. When your children begin to thank God, the destiny of their, their destiny opens up and they come into fulfillment. They want to be a doctor, they want to be this, they want to be that. Teach them to learn the principle of thanksgiving. Teach them to always at every time say, Lord, thank you. Thanksgiving envelops you in the presence of God. You want to carry the more of God. You want to carry the presence of God. Learn to be like a baby in the heart. When you come to thank God, thank him like there is no tomorrow. Make God know. Make your children know that you are not their original, original parents. That their original, original parents is Baba God. And if they can honor you, they should be able to honor this God. It's good to inculcate. You want them to be this, you want them to be that. Put in them the understanding of thanksgiving. Let them know that anytime they thank God, stubborn situations must shift. Praise God. Listen to me, child of God. The debt we owe God is thanksgiving. That's the debt. When we pray, we give God extra job. When we pray, ah, God is saying, what is my daughter asking for again? So the only thing God benefits from you, from me, is coming to dance. He's coming to praise. He's coming to, with a sincere heart to say, Baba, thank you. And when you thank God, there is no system. You thank him anyhow from a genuine heart. Many of you, you have swallowed God thanksgiving in several ways. You have you have circled yourself in your moment of complaint. Oh, he has not done this for me. Oh, my children's school fees needs to be paid. Oh, this, that. Oh, this, that. And God is waiting for you to just present this passport that will open up every other door for you. Praise God. God is not benefiting anything from you or from you and from me other than when we come that's what he is benefiting from us 
And listen to me, child of God. When you thank God, you attract him. When you thank God, when you appreciate him, you attract him. And when you attract him, everything must go attractive in your life. That's the truth. Wise men in this kingdom knows how to walk their way into the house of God. Every wise and successful man you see in this kingdom is not a man that prays alone. He's a man that knows the principle of thanksgiving and he walks his way into the house of God by thanking God. No wonder David was said to be a man after God's heart. Because he knows how to touch God. He knows how to use his worship, his adoration, his poems to say, God, thank you. Do you know you can thank God by singing a love song to him? Do you know you can teach your children to learn to stay at a corner and just compose a love song to God? Some of you, it's like it's strange. It's not strange. Because when it becomes your addition, thanksgiving flows freely from your spirit, man. Thanksgiving just begins to open up. You even forget that you have bills to pay. There is a personality who can take care of your needs. The only thing is that you have not entered into his heart with that passport called thanksgiving a a girl small girl herodias daughter she danced half of the kingdom was given to her and the head of a prophet went off child imagine when you begin to thank god the king of kings the lord of lords the one that is the great monarch of the universe. Imagine when you begin to thank him. Imagine when you begin to appreciate him. Imagine when you forget everything about him. You. And say, Lord, if men think I am somebody, then it must be you behind it. Many of you, you have eaten God's applaud. You have eaten his thank you. You have eaten his thank very much. You have eaten everything. And you're, you are still saying, Lord, you never give me picking. No, you never give me picking. You never give me money. You never give me money. And God is looking. The one who I don't give you. How many times you don't bring them out? How many times have you showed me gratitude? If the way we pray fervently, eh? The way we come out to pray fervently, that is the way we thank God fervently. Hey, things must shift. That's the only thing you can give God that will make his head swell up. Thank you, dancing, appreciating God is the only key to enjoying the benefits from the kingdom. Solomon, thank God, you know what happened. Praise God. If Herodias' daughter can thank God to that point where half of the kingdom can be given to her and the head of a prophet was cut off, what do you think when you dance to the one that made the earth and the, and the heavens and when he put his feet down, there are noises everywhere? Praise God. Listen to this. I wrote this down. When you pray, God answers if he hears. Get that. So if you put this thing, you know, this teaching eh, is for your children so that you can tell them. When you pray, God answers if he hears. Come on, so you say, ah, ah. Does it mean that God does not hear? Open your Bible, 1 John chapter 5 from verse 14. 1 John chapter 5. Media. Thank you. 1 John chapter 5 from verse 14.
and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth what he heareth us and now i said if when you pray god answers you if he hears and the bible says in first john chapter 5 verse 14 if god must hear you then your prayer must be according to what his will don't you see that there's a condition to it if you pray god will answer you but he answers you when your prayer is in line with his will but listen to this when you thank god you don't need any scriptural quotation you don't need the bible did not say thank me according to my will and i will hear when you thank god when you praise god god comes As I was preparing for this little exhortation, a drama just played in my head. And let me play this drama to you. I said, when you thank God, he comes down. When you pray, he hears you, he, he answers you if he hears you. If he hears, he will answer. Take for instance, brother A has come to the presence of God. And he's praying, oh God, I don't come again. Lord, give me, give me. Lord, bless me. Lord, change me. Oh God, he's praying the blood of Jesus. Every demon, every power. And God is like this. Hey, have your pause. Okay. Okay. Let me know what Sister A wants me to do. She keeps praying. God is still like this, listening. One day has passed. God is still listening. Two days has passed. God is still listening. One week passed. So he still they hear. He not say he no go hear. He still they hear. And as he they hear, he is watching to see if that prayer is in accordance to his what will you are pleading the blood holy ghost complete and complete and. holy ghost any demon fighting me complete and. die that is so we do for our house and god will just be like this okay he's listening no He's listening, no. Remember when we read in First John chapter five, from verse fourteen. He's listening, no. But one month they'll pass. God is still listening. He never bring answer. Abi, two weeks we are still pleading the blood. He never bring answer. But he's listening. He's, he's not denying the fact that you are in his presence. He's not denying the fact that you are calling on his name. Boy, while you were praying, he is checking. His prayer of Sister Queen in accordance to his will so that he can draw an answer. But there's something, another sister like me, Sister B, comes to the presence of God and begins to say, Momopewa, Momujowa, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Ebubedike, Onyinyakamu, the Everlasting Father, the one that has no comparison, beautiful God. God, do you know that you are sweet this morning? God, do you know that you are amazing this morning? And as somebody like me begins to thank God, God that was like this, begins to shake, he begins to dance, he begins to move, and he begins to say, Queen, now what you want? This was the image that played in my head while I was preparing for this. And he begins to say, now what you want? 
And while he's saying, I'm waiting, you want. I am still saying, Father, you thank you. If not be you, now we are for me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, see me, see, 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 see now. If not be you. And as I'm beginning to thank him, he begins to say, now wait till you want. He shouts, he says, no, 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 no. I don't need to ask you what you want. He shouts, make I dash you. I dash you, husband. I dash you, children. I dash you, that house. I dash you one billion. I dash you two billion. I dash you this. Now, so you begin the dash show. Now, like this, Solomon, praise God. Bring in thanksgiving. God begin to dash him. And as soon as he begins to dash, you are still praising. God begins to give you. Listen, I said before, every wise and great man in this kingdom knows that prayer is not the only weapon. Thanksgiving is part of the weapon to op operating and assessing the divine abundance of God. Maybe, as I was preparing for this, maybe it was moments like this. Maybe you Maybe in a moment like this, where I they thank God. Maybe I know no. God decided to dash me one Jesus. Maybe in a moment like this, where I they thank God. God decided to dash me for children. Maybe in a moment like this, where I begin to thank God. God begin to dash me when I know us. And people see and say, ah, ah, you know they pray now. You know they fast now. You know even be like us now. But no be me. Maybe now so I didn't think I'm old. Maybe now when I did do this thing. Maybe now that time God said, make I dash you. <laughs> Teach your children, starting from now, that there is nothing they cannot get from God when they thank him. Teach them that thanksgiving is supposed to be an addition. Teach them that thanksgiving is all they need. It's part of the things they need to open the resources of God for their destiny. Wazobia. This Wazobia station will say, somebody there, I don't know who is the person. If you not thank God, then God will thank you. If you don't thank God, then our God go thank you. Some of us, even God don't carry matter. Come, even God don't tell us thank you. And yet, where we see, they say thank you. We see the look at Nelea. Don't be too serious when it comes to thanking God. Great men and wise men have broken things in the realm of the spirit just by the power of praise just by the power of thanksgiving thanksgiving no be only for october thanksgiving is not for the end of the year thanksgiving is a lifestyle somebody say lord teach me to teach my children how to say thank you lord teach me to say thank you at all times That is the passport you need. He says, enter. That's the passport. If God still means anything to you, I'll soon be rounding up so that my father and the Lord will come to minister to us. If God still means anything to you, your gratitude is the way to show it. If God still means anything to you, your gratitude, your praise is the way to show it. When I thank him, when you thank him, when your children thank him, you are telling him, you mean the word to me. When I thank him, when my children thank him, when I gather them to say thank you God every day, I am telling God, you mean everything to me. Shh. 
show me what God means to you. Show me how much God means to you. It is in your praise. It is in your thanksgiving. A lot of you have gone through a lot of things that should have swallowed you. Death came to your house, but all of a sudden, death went to the next door. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Now wait till now. Say you do anything special. Some of you, you are you get to the point in this year where it's like there's no one error in your houses. But suddenly, suddenly money came. Ah uh ah. -uh. You know I lie you carry plates, they bear go. You know I lie you carry plates, bear go. There are people where they say they don't get money, they don't still get good health. As they, they collect from people, people they favor them. And so doctors, they collect them from their hand through their children. Check if I I see beautiful faces here. Can you take for some seconds to look beyond your problems? Look beyond all the things you have gone through. Look beyond all the battles you have gone through. And think how many times you went on the road. Oh? How many times you flew on the air. Jehovah was with you. Many times they throw arrow. You said you no know, say you carry arrow for your body. But all of a sudden you don't know how the arrow comes out. I beg this God, she you no know, deserve thank you. She you no know, deserve thank you. Because many a times we don't forget, say, if this God feed keep us alive, then nothing will you no know, go feed do. Can you spend that time you spend weeping and spend it and weeping from the depths of your heart to say, Father, you are grateful. Olorun agbaye o you are mighty He's mighty Many of you went through accommodation problems but all of a sudden God gave you a new place And now even in that new house where he give you she ain't never deal but yet they say ah God now who go even give me money make I buy cheer Hey, I won't buy television. I won't buy television. Ah uh ah. -uh. Thank God first for the one way He give you now. Do you know that the things that finish in your hands and in my hands and in our houses is now we the finisher. Now you now we the finisher. Why? Because of our ingratitude. Do you know when you thank God, it provokes the power of multiplication? Nothing they finish for the hand of a thanksgiver. You know they finish. If you finish for an ordinary man, but for the hand of a praiser, a thanksgiver, a worshiper, you know they finish. You know they finish. All the culture will supply as the aqua. Honorable. If Jesus Christ could carry five loaves of bread, lifted up, lifted, lifted it up, and say thank you, I beg. Now for where baskets multiply? Eh? Now where baskets come? Because the Bible said they gathered how many? Twelve. I beg go now. Now where baskets come from? Can see wait there for heaven open. They begin to release food. As you begin to praise God, there shall be multiplication in your family. As you begin to understand the power of thanksgiving, nothing in your hand will go finish. As you begin to understand the power of worship, dance, appreciation, there shall be divine response. God responded. Just because they thank God. 
the children of Israel, we don't know how they are, they don't know whether they will go front. They don't know whether they will go back. Because nations gathered to fight them. And a word of the Lord came. Just praise me. You will see this in Second Chronicles chapter 20 from verse 22. And as they begin to praise, there was a divine response to their cry. And God begins to set ambush for their enemies. And enemies begin to kill enemies. Ah, ah. Something day inside. Something day inside. Now thanksgiving. Now praise. Praise God. Now before I round up. How do you show gratitude to God? I said, if it means anything to you, it is in your praise. It is in your gratitude. How do you show gratitude to God? Number one, tell it to your children. You show gratitude to God by testimony. By giving testimony. Psalm 100 verse Psalm 105 verse 1. I'm working with time. Psalm 105 verse 1. 105 verse. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. Call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the people. Testimony is a way of showing your gratitude to God. Some of you, you don't eat God's testimony too much. Uh -uh. Don't let God vomit and for your mouth too. You better vomit and jelly. Jell hey. Don't let God vomit in testimony out of your mouth too. Vomit and jelly jell and give unto God. A lot of people say, I don't want to testify so that people will not know eh, that I went through this problem. I don't want to testify so that people will not know how much God has blessed me. Eh, I don't want to testify so that they will not say I am proud. The key thing is, is your heart genuine? Is your heart sincere? Testify. As he lays it in your heart, testify. So long as your heart is genuine, I beg go. Why you not go even testify? Where you they trouble God every night? Where you they shout every night? Where you they carry your matter? They go for God every night. And when He decide to show you mercy, she you no know, deserve to make known His deeds among the people. Some of you, as we sit down here now, how many testimony we get today? How many? But if God come to you now, you will not even need prophecy to look whether God don't do something for you. You be your own prophet for yourself. That you are still breathing is enough to thank God. Before we come, they check other, 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 other things where he don't do for you. Number two way to show gratitude to God is by your praise and worship. By your praise and worship. Let's see Psalm 105 verse 2. By your praise and worship. Psalm 105 verse 2. Seek unto, the, seek unto him. Seek psalms unto him. Talk ye of all his wondrous works. Let's see First Chronicles chapter 16. First Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. He says, First Chronicles 16, verse 9. He says, Sing to him, sing psalms to him, talk of all his wondrous works. When you praise, when you thanks, when you sing, when you compose songs of love to him. It's a way to show your gratitude to God. 
Listen. When the when in your bowels, the oil of praise, the oil of thanksgiving suddenly is going dry. Something is wrong. Check your relationship with God fast. It is not good that in the bowel of a child of God, that praise and worship dries. When I mean praise, I don't, know, I, don't, I don't mean the one the choir come to stir us up. This kind of praise I mean is a praise that starts in your bedroom. Now there it starts. So when you come to the congregation of the people, once it stays up, they don't touch something in you because you already carry it. If you don't carry them, if it dry inside of you, they like me, they sing all the best song. You go just they they look there. You know, go move you. But if it is in your bowels, the oil is dripping. Ah. Anything sparks up the praise. Anything sparks up the dancing. So long is this the to the glory of God. So, let's teach our children that it is important that they testify that they thank God. Another, number three, way to show your gratitude to God is by your sacrificial giving your sacrificial seed <laughs> you can't this one some people are not going to like him but you better like him you can't say you love God if you are not giving him and when I mean giving it must be a sacrificial one a sacrificial seed a seed that will cost you something the Isaac kind of seed. That is the way to show God, I am grateful. Your sacrificial seed. I think it's in Second Samuel chapter 24, verse 24. We may not go there because of time. David said something, I will not give God what does not cost me. That thing where you won't give God, how he pay you for body rich? He touch you. If he touch you, in a sacrifice. Let's see John. The book of John, chapter 10. The book of John, chapter 10. Verse 17. Therefore, my father loves me because I lay down my life that I may take it again. NLT translation says, Therefore, my father loves me because I sacrifice. That's what NLT translation says. You can put it up for us to see. He says, Yeah. My father loves me because I lay down. In this kingdom, you must come to the point where you lay down. You must come to the point where you make sacrifice. What have you laid down for that expectation you want? What have you laid down? Abraham laid down Isaac. And he lost Isaac in the spirits. And he gained nations. Till today, his name is still relevant. What have you laid down? Even 
even in the other side of the world, they know you cannot get until something will pay you come off for your body. They learnt it in the kingdom. They learnt it from the word of God. If Jesus Christ said, my father loves me because I lay down that I may take it back again. What you take determines is determined by what you have laid. What have you sacrificed at the altar of God? What have you given to God that costs you something? What can God look at and say, ah, this thing where this girl give me now. Ah, I know. Nobody say he testify alone. You know. Nobody say he dance me alone. You know. I know in my heart she loves me. When you lay it down, you didn't lose it. You only lay it down to harvest for a to have a big harvest. What is the power of your sacrifice? Sacrificial giving has a voice. I know a lot of people have spoiled this thing called sacrifice giving and all that. So when you talk about giving, people are scared, people are this, but the truth is and still remains. This is part of the principle in this kingdom that makes men great. That makes men great. If you are not giving, you can't be receiving. That's the truth. If you are not giving, you can't be receiving. It's not possible. There are seasons that need to come to an end in your life. Seasons of dryness needs to come to an end in your life. It is only your sacrifice that can bring an end to it. There are seasons of affliction and pain that needs to come to an end in your life. It is your sacrifice that can bring an end to it. Praise God. You can wrap the destiny of your children with a sacrifice. You can wrap the destiny of your children. Lord, this child will be great in life. Just like you have said it, my child will be great. I have seen it. I have known it. Don't just see it alone. No. Don't just know it by prophecy alone. Because even small, small witches know that they see Wrap it up with a sacrifice. Lord, you have said this boy will be great. Lord, I have come with this sacrifice to say, Lord, your word over this boy will manifest. Leave it and go and sleep. God, they watch his word. He does not fail. <laughs> I know that like I know my name. Nothing you put in the hand of God that will be disgraced. Mommy. Not when it is backed up with a sacrifice. Wrap the destinies of your children with a sacrifice. Wrap it with a sacrifice. When devil is picking children, he will use. Your own children will always be escaping. When the devil is still looking for those, he will make you wayward. If he come your door, he not go even come. But if he mistakenly come your door, he say, "Ah, na mistake, na mistake, na mistake, na mistake, na mistake." Zoom, zoom, zoom. All the devil will zoom off. Why? Oh, we hear no any men more concerning that child. Do you know there are some children that can never be useless, no matter how the devil tries? They can never be useless. You know why? There is a sacrifice that their parents have tied with their name. So even when the devil wants to make them useless, that sacrifice will call them back. 
I'm giving you a principle. Wrap the destinies of your children with a sacrifice. Some of you, you your sacrifice may be a monthly adjunct on the altar of God. You know, some people know they like this one. But I'm telling you what I do, what I practice. Your, your sacrifice on the head of your children can be your monthly adjunct. God, I don't bring them again. No. What I am a fool. Oh, where are you? There are some children, they don't go feel lost for the hand of God. <laughs> they don't feel lost. They don't feel lost. Some children don't lose because their parents don't understand some principles of the kingdom. But there is time to remedy things. That is why this insight is coming. Praise God. Praise God. Listen, you can break circles and patterns in your family that you do not like by your sacrifice. They say male children know the last for your family. And you have lived to see it manifest. And now it's in your turn. You stand, you they look. You only they plead the blood of Jesus. You only they pray. He good though. But back it up with a sacrifice. That pattern we break. That circle we break. They say people know they last. They say if they go up, suddenly they come down. Foruna, your tongue will change you. And when it change, some people that do not understand the principle you understand, they will say, Oh, they come with your zone in me. Oh, they come with your zone in me. Oh, they come your zone in me. He understands the principle of the kingdom. In this kingdom, ignorance is not, not an excuse. The devil, will not, the devil will not say, make I leave you because you don't know. I see. I lie. So the knowledge you know, the understanding of the knowledge of the word of God you have inside of you gives you an edge over some Christians. There are Christians, so a lot of people seated here, we are Christians, probably believers, born again and tongue-talking. But among us, we are not the same. You know, we like them. Among us, we are not the same. Indicator of the things of the spirits, some people are high. And they are not just high by only prayer alone. The knowledge of the principles of God they know and practice keeps them high. What do you know? Praise God. If you love God, show it by your thanksgiving. If you love God, show it by your sacrifice. If you love God, show it by your appreciation to him. Show it to him. That's how to become great. That thing you they keep, this money, money you know they day enough for. So when God make demand of that your Isaac, Isaac, give it. Isaac, they make people cry. Now the truth. You can lose Ishmael and you'll be laughing. But when you lose Isaac, when you lay Isaac on the altar of God, hey, he touch you. And when you lay it down, Jehovah brings it back again. And he does not bring it back again in the same form as which you laid it. He brings it back in a higher form that will advertise you to your nation. Do you know you can sacrifice and give your way into the heart of God that doors of men of influence will begin to open to you? In this kingdom, even in this life, 
you need a helper. Me, I need a mom. You need somebody that will lift your hand up. You need somebody that will say, this is the way. See, when you pray, oh God, send relevant men into my life. Send men of influence. Send men of affluence. Now my prayer point too. Tie it with a sacrifice. And watch God bring a season where men of influence will begin to look for you. You will not meet ordinary men. Hey, sacri of, see, of, sacrifice seed is a painful one. There was a time in my life for up to one year plus before I stopped. I made a sacrifice, a vow to God. And I said, God, every seed you give me, every seed men give to me, every blessing you give to me, Lord, you take 40% while I take 60%. The moment I said it, the blessing at that time, people remember me. It was coming in ways, in, in high volumes where, ah, ah, when I look and say, hey, 40% hey 40% some came in millions hey 40% to hey as so my husband used to say why Mary 40% but I have made that commitment say sacrifice on my part I was giving it for over one year If it does not cost you anything, it's not yet a sacrifice. It's still, a, it's still giving. Listen, God places honor on every giving. That's the truth. He places honor on every giving. But there is something that is called premium. Ah, shall we understand that? Eh? Business people, you understand what is called premium? That's the way he, that's, that's the level he places on those who make sacrifice. There's a premium he places on their own. Praise God. Praise God. I was privileged to handle the children departments during the four weeks of the spiritual summer class. And in one of the classes, before I continue, our mother in the Lord taught the children, even when you fat, tell God, thank you. And the children were laughing, say, ah, ma, you mean fat? You mean mess? And she said, yes. Say, God, thank you. And she started giving them a story of, of how somebody prayed and prayed just to fat. And one of the days, my... We are pray I was praying with my children and my son said, Father, thank you because I can fart. I we looked at him and we laughed. Please don't fart here. <laughs> Praise God. I was privileged to handle these children for four weeks. This spiritual summer class. And as I was, there are times when I finished teaching these children. As I will go back to my seat, teaching and praying with them. As I will go back to my seat to sit, I want to use this medium to say, every parent here that allowed their children to participate in that spiritual summer class, God bless you. You're doing a good job. God bless you. May God give you more insights and to train them well in the way of God. You will not lose your reward on them. There are times when I finish, as I'm going back to sit on my seat, a child will just come from the back and hug me and say, Mommy Queen or Mrs. Queen, thank you. And I'm like, for what? Not because I gave that child lunch. The child just says, thank you. Not one, not two. 
There was even a time a child with a sister. So even with tears in their heart, in their faces, literal tears, they will come to say thank you. And my heart melts. Imagine if I was God. There was even a time a child with a sister came and said, Mommy Queen, we want to give you this. this. And I looked at it. I said, for what? Is it for your seed? He said, no, it's 1,000 Naira. We told our mom to just, that we want to give you 1,000 Naira. We want to bless you. And she gave us 1,000 Naira. And as I'm trying to reject it, the sister came. I said, no, you must accept it. Oh, thank you, ma. Hey, my heart melts. Imagine if I was God at that moment, the way I'm feeling. Waiting, I know if he dash that child. Waiting, I know if he give that picking. Till date, I still pray for those children. Every one of them. What can't I give that child? Why? Because they broke into my heart. They penetrated into my heart. We just two words. Thank you. Imagine that child with that mentality lay before the altar of God and say, Father, thank you. I'm a doctor today because of you. Lord, I pass my exam because of you. Lord, I am grateful. I am not here because my parents could give me food. I'm not under my parents' roof because they are wealthy. It is because of you. Let your children know. And for those of you who have started laying that in their hearts, keep on. Your seed will not be a waste. It will speak. It will speak. No investment in the hand of God is a waste. No, 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 no. I am an investment. It's not a waste. I'm a proof of an investment sown in the hearts of God. And that is why when I get opportunity to minister to these children, I, I pour it from the heart. At this moment, I want you to look back. Has God done you well? Has God done you well? Has he done your children well? It is time to say thank you. Has it done you well? Look yourself now. From, from Egypt to Jerusalem. Ah, ah. Now who do I know be God? Look yourself now. She not because of, of your beauty. Mbana. Okay, if you don't feel look yourself, look me and thank, say God, thank you. Because some of you, you know me. So look me and say, God, thank you. At, at least if you don't know, thank God for yourself. God is a God that is awesome. He is faithful. He is too good to disappoint his own. Can we rise up to our feet this moment? You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. You have done me well. You have done me well. You have done me well, Jesus. Oh, but I'll read. If not for you, God, oh, but
was at the back in with the driver my son was with the driver I don't know what happened there was an accident and in that bus some children got wounds that they had to call their parents nobody called us nobody told us it was my son that came back and was explaining that if I see the deep cuts and the blood on some children in the vehicle but he was in the front with the driver. Nothing happens to him. The other of my daughter at the back. Nothing happens to her. I remember God. I am thankful. I will never be ungrateful.
remembered something now. Honey, permit me to share this. I just remembered something. I didn't get here by chance, but by the mercy of God. I remembered when we are living in our God, in a three-bedroom apartment. I remember there was one of the days my husband did business with somebody and business didn't go well. And he needs to pay them, they were all over him. And some of them had to come to the house. They're like, oh, what Jesus, I want my money. I want he didn't eat their money, but business did go well. And what Jesus, I want my money. You can't, can't do all that right in my presence. Some of them were like, Madam, talk to your husband. There was a day I was on the road of our customer's bus stop with my husband. I was going to church for prayers. And they, they said, Madam, talk to your husband to pay us. He did eat their money. With business didn't go well. But today, those people are calling my husband boss. Today,
giving you something your enemies never thought will ever come into your hands. I see a heart. This heart is so grateful and appreciative as a ministry. And the Lord said, I should tell you, He was surprised. Is that what you're saying? It's not come and say. Oh, no. By now, from the calculation of your enemy, you should have been buried. I am the one. You should have been buried. But look at you, you're standing. And even from some of the people that thought you would have died, one among them have died. I'm speaking to somebody, you know it. The enemy thought you should be buried by now. But look at you, you are still standing. And from one of the enemies, one of them is no more alive. You have shown me mercy. <laughs> you have shown me mercy. It is time to come and say, God, thank you. I'm the one that you have shown me mercy. I am. You have shown me mercy. you for just one second go on your knees from your genuine heart go on your knees wherever you are say lord thank you and for your love thank you for my children you look beyond me beyond me thank you for my husband you look beyond me thank you for my parents thank you for I'm my pastor boy thank I you for my siblings Thank you because you didn't allow the battle to swallow me. Thank you. I mean it from the depths of my heart. Thank you. I was naked and cold. I need a covering fashion to your taste. Thank you. But yet you have covered me in your righteousness alone. Thank you. You look past my Thank you. My guilt. My shame. Thank you. There is nothing to preach again. Nothing to add. And nothing to my notes. So the only thing is to practice one of the things my daughter has already taught. Praising and worshiping. Praise God. Praise Him radically, even if it is 10 15 minutes. Worship Him as never before. Let's carry the same anointing that is in the house. Let's continue it with praise and worship. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Hey, you are Yahweh. Everybody, lift your voice and get clear. Come on. You are Yahweh. Everybody. Baba. Oh. 
libertà Ci ho chi che libera Come vuoi se
Bless your holy name. Receive all the glory. In Jesus' name. Have your seat in the presence of God. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Bible. 
the Bible said, I, okay, I, we looked at it on Saturday, Vigil. But we didn't look at it deeply. Which scripture is that? Genesis 18. Looking from verse 17 to verse 19. Hide my plan from Abraham. The Lord asked. Praise God. Probably he asked among the two. Why did he ask? For Abraham, for Abraham will certainly become a great and mighty nation. Number two, and all the nations of the earth will be blessed through him. But let's see the gas care. The one that crown all this in verse 19 I have singled him out so that he will direct his sons and their families to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is right and just then I will do for Abraham look at the last sentence it is at this purpose what was the purpose to direct his sons and their families to keep the way of the Lord by doing what is what right and what just then I will do for Abraham all that I have promised remember my daughter was talking about teaching your children to have understanding, not just understanding, but a deep understanding in the area of what? Thanksgiving. Praise God. And this is one of the major areas. It's not the only area. But this is one of the major areas, the area of thanksgiving. To teach our children. There are things, even though the greatest and the foremost prophet tells you that it would happen. And you believed him. Most of the time, it doesn't come to pass. One of the major reasons is this. Bring the scripture, don't bring my picture. Then I will do for Abraham all that I have what?
if you don't have divine successor from your bowels that will carry out divine assignments even when you are old or after you leave the earth you have not done the will of God well Praise God. You have not done the will of God well. You want God promises to take place in your life. You want your own hard desires to be fulfilled. You want to go extra mile in the journey of the spirit and in the physical. You want to be a commander, a great person. You want to be the head and not the tail. Praise God. One of the best ways to do it is to learn to teach your children the way of the Lord. You find out, you will definitely find out that all this warfare, that all these vigils, and so on and so on and so forth, will, will either minimize or you won't go through it again. Praise God. God keeps his promises when we keep our own. No matter what you have done, if your children miss the way of the Lord, you didn't do anything. Praise God. Therefore, I want to appreciate God for your life. You have known the truth. You will continue to know the truth. For it is guaranteed that it is only the truth that will make you free. So continue in this way of truth. And impossible will be what? Possible. And I want to use this opportunity also to let our men because God was pointing to Abraham. God was not pointing to Sarah. Praise God. God did not say, will I hide anything from Sarah? He didn't mention Sarah. It was who? Abraham. Men, no matter, they are jumping out, looking for how to make a home moving forward financially materially if you lose the area of spirituality you have offended God men should learn I'm trying to choose my words I don't want to use hard words because we are praise and worship God so we should learn by his grace how to carry the spirituality the work provision and every other thing along it will make us better and God will be happy with you 
You may not need to pray like me. Everybody has his really major area of calling. Praise God. But our general calling for men is men should be the priest of the house. Jesus is the high priest. If a man lose the priesthood of the house, there is a problem. Praise God. So men, I am encouraging you. Don't leave your wife I mean, to your wife, everything that has to do with spiritual anger. Praise God. You may be thinking that the breadwinner of the house, but the one she's doing, if we check it and assess it very well, it takes grace. She's pregnant taking care of one or two or two children, cooking, going to I mean, market to buy things, come home to cook, take care of the children, take them to school, bring them back, and so on and so on. Our own is only one straightforward of duty, going to business or to our working place. Praise God. So they have extra grace, if I should say that. Praise God. Still, upon that, when you come back in the night, you say, climb her up. So they are very strong. Praise God. Have you seen why God said, stay and live with them with wisdom? Hallelujah. Finally, if a woman handles spiritual matter alone without the man, the children will carry that level of their spiritual understanding, their mother's spiritual of, of, of understanding. There are people the children will forgive no matter the anointing of a woman. There are ones they will forgive, no matter how pastor preach forgiveness. He has, she has made up her mind. The people she will forgive, and the people, she, when in the military he see them, he will turn his eyes. Praise God. The woman will teach her children Praise God. May God give us understanding. Don't forget. God said, since Abraham will teach what? His children, my ways. Your wife cannot teach the children all the ways of God. I'm unable to give me choice. I am telling you. Praise God. I'm unable to give me choice. There are places it will reach. Even she will tell God, after all, I am a woman. They easily know how to vote. Go to God. Praise God. When a woman made a mistake in the Garden of Eden, who did God first ask? So when something is wrong in your home, God will not ask your wife. God will ask you as a man. Praise God. 
and any home the woman take or some spiritual authority from the husband that home is called Ahab and Jezebel house no matter how the woman see vision no matter how flawless less revelation she sees praise God so these are the part of the things we should teach our children. Your male children, you tell, teach them the way of the Lord. Your female children, teach them the way of the Lord. There are so many reasons for that. I show us on Saturday, one of the reasons that we should teach our children is found in Psalm 127. I said, if we look from verse 4, 5, children born to a young man are like arrows in a warrior's world hands. And what happened? Verse 5. They are arrows. They are arrows in a warrior's hand. And what happened? How joyful is the man? He didn't say the woman. How joyful is the man whose quiver is full of them? Such a man, such a home. The Bible says, he will not be put to shame. When you train your children in the way of the Lord, they will never put the family to share. My daughter says something. There is a way you will guide and sow a strong seed to guide your children. When the enemy wants to snatch them, there will, there will be a voice from heaven and said, touch not. This is my beloved son. Read their Bible. Even when Israel sinned, when they left Israel, Egypt to the promised land, it came to a time God told who? Balaam. I didn't find iniquity in them. But so many of them died as a result of what? But God told Balaam, the people you, I want, you want to curse, I didn't find any sin in them. Praise God. To such people, when the enemy wants to snatch them, heaven will appear. Don't try it. This belongs to me. To those that have ears, let them hear.